This is how I make my pocket size sketchbooks. These are great for fitting in your pocket and are really quick to make outside and on the go, meaning they're great for drawing outdoors when you're on the move. I use these sketchbooks to capture anything from details and textures in the landscape to full on views and vistas. The minimum materials you'll need is a pencil and a piece of paper. I recommend using a standard A size, I'm using A4 in this video. You can also use charcoals or oil pastels and go wild with materials, but a pencil is really all you need. It's probably best to watch this video first before you give it a go, just so you understand it visually. To start off with, we're going to hold our paper landscape and fold it over long ways towards us. We're then going to open that back out and fold it over short ways. We're then going to fold that all back up so our page is in a quarter of the size and fold that over into half again so that gives us an eighth. This is the final size of our page. We're then going to unfold that completely back out to the A4 flat page. Fold it over in half short ways again and hold the folded line at the top. We're going to tear from the center point of the folded edge down to the center point of the middle of this piece. Unfold it back to the flat page, fold over back long ways, feel free to reintroduce the creases here. Pushing left to right, we're going to push in towards the middle and you'll see that the tear that we have made is going to fold over and this is going to make our pages. A tip if you're looking to use the sketchbook to capture one view is to fold the book back out long ways and draw from left to the right hand side of the page. This means that when we fold our book back up together, it means that the drawing flows continuously and all of our lines match up at the same heights of each page. This helps us make the sketchbook kind of like one story documenting the one location, almost like a graphic novel. Remember to draw on both sides of the paper. If you're working on the paper folded long ways like I am demonstrating visually here, you want to flip your page back around so you've got drawings on both sides like this. Once we have got our drawing, we're going to want to refold the pages back into the book, which I'm going to demonstrate for you here. These sketchbooks are not only great for documenting our locations, but each page can give you ideas of how to abstract the landscape. So you could look at one page at a time and each composition could for inform the composition for a future painting. You could try making these pages much larger and create a much larger painting from these. Or you could look at the whole panoramic view that we've captured going from page to page and draw, draw that instead. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a wee subscribe or a thumbs up or leave a nice comment down below. And if you give this a go, please send me a photo or tag me in a photo on Instagram over at Orla Stevens. I would absolutely love to see what you get up to creatively outdoors.